Hi everyone, Arthur here. Welcome back. Today, we have invited our mobile product director, Sam here, to talk about our Kedacom body on camera. Okay, as usual, if you guys have any questions, you can just type up below so that our staff will answer you as soon as possible. All right, so shall we start, Sam? Yeah, hi, Arthur, and hi, everyone. Well, speaking of body on camera, I believe you're all aware of what it is. We often see policemen wearing body on camera in our lives, yeah? But what can body on camera actually do? Let's see a short video first. All right, let's see. Kajatra, 下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下下来一下
So let's start the law enforcement first. Sure. So in the process of law enforcement, the police will face a variety of global climate. Raining is only one of them. The body one camera has to do the test, no matter in hot and dusty Middle East or raining and cold Europe, it has adapted to the most harsh climate conditions. Great. And what makes it so adaptable? Well, it's all because of good product design. Okay. First of all, the body one camera can reach IP67 protection level. The removable housing, the joint by part bike screw, the USB interface, every detail has adopted strict measures for waterproof and dustproof. Okay. And secondly, it is equipped with high performance chipset and excellent heat dissipation, which allows the body one camera work continuously at extreme low or high temperature. Great. And in addition, you can see the body one camera is equipped with a touch screen. It's visible under strong sunlight and easy for policemen to operate even in the rain. Okay, so uh, how about at night? Okay, for night law enforcement, the body one camera will automatically switch to night mode mm -hmm. with eye on. Great. But sometimes the policemen need to get colorful image information for evidence. All right. Then he can choose to turn on the white LED light. Okay. Well, in actual duty, the police can collect high definition video through three ways from internal camera or external button camera and ear hook camera. Okay, uh, what's the difference between all those cameras? Okay, let's see the videos shot by three different cameras, then you will understand. Sure, let's see it. Yeah. Generally, the use of volume camera itself can meet most of our needs. All right. The angle of internal camera is most widest, by the way. Mm -hmm. But if you like to feel lighter during law enforcement, you can put your volume camera in the waist and add an external button camera, which can be easily clamped on the clothes. Okay. Or some customers have higher quality requirements for video recording. Then we suggest to use ear hook camera because your eyesight is always consistent with ear hook camera, just like the video shows. Okay, good. Um, as far as I know, yeah. you know, the uniform of the global police are very different. Yeah. Also, there are uh, different kinds of police, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for example, crime, yeah. you know, traffic, or maybe special police, mm -hmm. even army. Okay, they all wear different uniforms. Mm -hmm. So how do we meet all their needs? Okay, with the promotion of body one camera and large number of practical cases, we prepared different ways of wearing according to their uniforms. Mm -hmm. So first, for some uniforms with some shoulders, yeah. 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 Um, with default back clip, the body one camera can be easily fixed on the shoulder strap. Okay. And secondly, we can use the click pathway, which now is a national standard. All we right. provide 
two products here, the Clipfast and the Clipfast with laser case, which can be perfectly matched with a Clipfast dog here in market, so as to complete the wearing. All right. And third, for some casual clothes or female piece, we suggest to use single side strap holder to fix the body wing camera. And the above three ways can basically meet the most of our needs. And if there are some new or special uniforms, yeah. we can consider to do some customization. Yeah, great. Uh -huh. And next, in actual project, we also encounter some special scenarios. For example, the border police. Mm -hmm. They need continuously work for several days. Yeah. And there's no fixed place for them to charge the body on camera in time. Yeah. So in this case, first of our suggestion is to carry some backup batteries. So after the law enforcement is completed, they can use the battery charger to they can use the battery charger to charge the battery. You can see here, this is a one slot and six slots, and also 24 slots for a choice. Okay? Yeah, great. And second, we provide two kinds of vehicle brackets, as you can see here, yeah. to help you install the body on camera mm -hmm. in the vehicle, at the same time charging it. Also, you can use it as a temporary vehicle data recorder. Okay, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I remember you mentioned about uh, managing hundreds of body-worn cameras and yes. data management at the police station. Yeah, good memory about that. that. Yeah. Um, we, how can we complete the data and device management for thousands of body uh -huh. uh, Right. It's all rely on the docking station and its management software. Okay. First, the docking station is usually placed in police station. It's used for charging the body one camera and saving its daily recording. When docking station can maximum support 24 pieces body one camera at the same time. Yeah. But you see only covers a very small area due to its creative wall-mounted design. Mm -hmm. And the management software is for central management, normally deployed in data center. Mm -hmm. Because all the data recording collected by body one camera will be stored in data center. Yeah. Then let's use a flow chart to let you understand more sure. how we manage the device and data. Sure. Okay. So before law enforcement, a policeman can get body one camera from docking station. Mm -hmm after entering his police ID and password. All right, so does it mean that uh, officers can get only their own body on cameras? Well, yes and no, because one device for one officer is just an option. Yeah, all right. Because sometimes the police number is much more than the device number. Okay. So in this case, several officers will share one body one camera. Okay. So what is our solution is the docking station will mark the ID of police who took that body one camera on the OSD. I see. So you mean the police manager can actually trace that who recorded the video? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, after law enforcement, the police officer will take body one camera back to the police station. He only needs to return the device to any slots of docking station, mm -hmm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. At this time, the device will be automatically locked, start battery charging, mm -hmm. and uploading the data, and meanwhile, clearing the memory card. Good. Then just leave the rest to the managers. So if needed, the manager can check the videos through docking station or its management software. Yeah. Because all the videos, pictures, data shot by body one camera eventually converge to data center. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's, it's stored in the private cloud, cloud storage for a long time. Okay. So for example, you had a car accident three months ago, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The judgment was all your fault. All right, my fault. Yeah, but you, you doubt it. Of course, yes. 
you can then you can request to get the video anytime to check because the ah. recording is still there. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah. If the law enforcement is daily work of police, then 4G emergency command is to deal with emergencies. Testing the responsibility of command center. Well, in our experience, if command center doesn't know the situation at the scene, it's like a blind person. Yeah. Without efficient communication channels, the entire emergency deployment will lose its operational power. Yeah. And here, we mentioned our key products, the 4G body one camera, the video management system, mm -hmm. and the VLAN communication server, finally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is for group calling, message, picture, mm -hmm. and video sharing with police officers. All right. Okay. But in our experience, 4G is not very popular in some regions. There will be frequent switching between 3G and 4G. Mm -hmm. And moreover, the wireless network is prone to have jitter, packet lost, or other problems. Yeah. So to adapt the features of wireless network, KDACOM specially designed the KWTP technology. Yeah which stands for KDALCOM Wireless Transmission Protocol. This is to guarantee the stable transmission on the wireless network. We took a video in high-speed train. Let's see its performance. Right, let's see it. All right, great. We can see that even in the high speed train, yeah. the, the wireless transmission is still very stable. It's true. Mm -hmm. And there's another question that you may notice. It's yeah. about the data security. Because the wireless transmission is often in a public network of mm -hmm. RSP. Mm -hmm. The data security is worrying, right? Yeah. So what is our solution? On one hand, we suggest the customers use VPN network to secure the data. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we've customized AES-256 encryption to secure the data on the wireless transmission. Next, let's simulate an emergency and see how to deal with it by okay. KDACOM system. All right. Okay. So for example, when the police is outside for law enforcement, uh -huh. he encounters with emergency, uh -huh. like a car accident or a hit and run. Yeah. Right? What he only needs to do is to press the alarm button mm -hmm. to report the emergency. Yeah, just press yes. Yes. So the alarm notification, his GPS location, and the real-time video will immediately pop up in, on the command center and in the big screen. Right? Okay. And then the commander can communicate with the police on site by voice calling, yeah. quickly making decisions and guiding him with next instruction. Right. Okay. It seems this way is much efficient than the traditional way, which is, which yeah. is you know, call, uh, call to the police mm -hmm. and describe the emergency and you know what, what where, where is it, what happened. Yeah. Excellent. Um, the command center because can understand the emergency situation immediately. Yeah. Because the real time video shows everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you know sometimes uh, there are public security issues occurring. Yeah. Uh, something like a parade riot. Yeah. Or maybe group fight. You know these issues that cannot be solved by the single police. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If the situation is beyond the control uh -huh. of a single police uh -huh. after communication, mm -hmm. the commander can quickly find other police nearby through the system yeah. and form a temporary working team. They can start mission meeting. They can share the data information in group chat. Yeah. The whole process is fast and efficient from receiving the alarm to making decisions only in a few minutes. Okay, great. We all know that during an emergency, every second is worth fighting for. Yeah. So I believe such an efficient and rapid decision-making ability is necessary. Yeah. 
And the last is AI suspect identification. AI here implies face recognition. Mm -hmm. So the body one camera with face recognition can help police identify suspects. Yeah. So with the promotion by our partners, you, the body one camera has been widely adopted in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East, etc. Just to call a chance to say thank you for our efforts. Yeah, great. So in real test, the body one camera can recognize human face of different races. Moreover, the speed of face recognition is really fast. Let's learn about its performance through a video. Yeah, sure. Okay, not bad. The, the recognition is fast, okay? Yeah. Uh, I notice it's in a bus, by the way. Yes, um, especially in the entry or exit of a city, the police needs to check if any suspects hiding in the bus. Uh -huh. So it's taking the bus. So using the body one camera is the most efficient way, much faster than all passengers getting off the bus and taking photo, checking their ID one by one. All right, great. So, uh, okay, I'm a little curious about the rep uh, repetitive photos uh, yeah. in the video. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, this is related to algorithm. Mm -hmm. The current algorithm is designed to capture all the faces once the human face is detected in that video. Mm -hmm. But our R&D is also putting efforts on the optimization capturing all the face, but only uploading the best one for comparison. Mm -hmm. This can improve the efficiency. Right, I see. So let's forward uh, to a better algorithm. Okay. okay, I have another question. Just now uh, you mentioned about upload the picture for comparison, right? Yes. So I want to ask that what server is for the comparison and mm -hmm. uh, how the whole system works? Okay. Let's learn about the process through this illustration. Yeah. So as you can see, the body one camera is responsible for face recognition and upload the picture to the human recognition server. Mm -hmm. Then this server is capable of fast comparison in seconds mm -hmm. with the watch list offered by the police. Once two pictures are matched, the alarm notification is automatically pushed back to the body one camera yeah. through VLAN communication server. Um, all right, uh, maybe can you do some demonstration now? Sure. We have installed the whole environment here. Just take the body one camera here yeah, all in right. front of me. Okay. I put my picture in the watch list. Okay. As you can see now, the body one camera starts to vibrate. Yeah. We also consider another way like a voice broadcast, like mm -hmm. suspect found, suspect found, but this may let the suspect hear, right? Yeah. Not as good as vibrating for a long time until you check it. Okay, so let our audience to see. The left picture is shot by body one camera, and right picture is in the watch list. And also you can see the similarity, which is 85 percentage and my face, my name, my ID, and also my address also here, okay? Okay, okay thanks. And what is worth it to mention, auto delivering the alarm and picture back to the body one camera is a unique function in the market. Mm -hmm. We are the only one had this function. Yeah. Okay, you can imagine if what will happen if without this function? Okay, if without it, yeah. um, means the system does not send alarm photo back to the volume camera. Yeah. And okay, the commander will maybe uh, choose to call and you yeah. know, describe the suspect in details, uh, how the suspect looks like, uh, and what clothes he's wearing, or by calling. Yeah, you're right. However, communication by audio is not as visual by picture, yeah. right? Because the picture tells everything about his appearance and his clothes, 
Therefore, it can help the police quickly lock the suspect yeah. and eventually capture him. Okay, great. Thank you for info. Okay. okay, so at last, let's summarize what we got today. Uh, let me see. Uh, first, Kedakom's body on camera is the first 4G AI body on camera in the industry, mm -hmm. which means we are leading the market to make more powerful and intelligent 4G products. Okay, second, Okay, we mentioned about you know three main scenarios: uh, first, law enforcement, or maybe 4G emergency uh, command, and also AI suspect identification. Yeah, we have advantage on in those scenarios. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a total solution to manage thousands of 4G on camera, and we develop the KWTP protocol for stable transmission and unstable uh, network. Yeah, that's true. And last, the unique feature of a long picture pushing back to the body on camera, which helps the police to quickly identify the suspect. Yeah. Oh, one more thing I'd like to mention, yeah, please. Yeah. Our product design is customer oriented. Mm -hmm. We have an R&D team especially for new requirements customization many powerful features and some new product and accessories are from zero to one, all based on real requirements. So welcome to tell us your needs. Okay, next, you know, remember all the questions you asked. Now we will have our Q&A sessions. Okay. You know, we will pick a few as usual, like maybe three questions mm -hmm. and we will let our dear Sam to answer you. Okay. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Um, okay, uh, let's see, there are a lot of questions. Uh, okay, this one, uh, he asked that, when will the optimized algorithm of face recognition be released? Okay, the new algorithm is estimated to be released in the end of this month. All right, so mm -hmm. the end of this month. Okay, next one. Um, all right, this one. Okay. Does Ketacom already produce the click fast door? Um, not yet. What you see here, these two click fast dog are the samples in market. But if you really need this in your project, we are also able to produce the dog according to the real situation. Okay. Yeah. Good. And I will just pick the last one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. Let's see who's the lucky guy. Okay. Uh, how many kinds of body on camera that Kelecom is selling? Okay, um, so 4G AI body on camera is the main product that yeah. we are promoting. Yeah. Besides, we also have one standalone body on camera without 4G and AI, okay. but same appearance. If you have some projects that only require for law enforcement, you can consult it with our sales team. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Uh, all right. I see a lot of questions here. Okay. Uh, we will just uh, have three or four, two, three to four minutes to let our staff to finish answer all your questions. All right.
Okay. So I believe that's all for today. And by the way, you can also follow us in Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn so that you can get the newest info from us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you and see you next time. Thank you.